me and Ivan just arrived here at this beautiful restaurant and uh, we got a glass of champagne. And I think you guys should say hello to uh, Ivan as well, so I'm not gonna cheer before you see her. I'm Ivan, um, I am also a travel blogger, vlogger. I write on goivan.com, it's a Dutch site, so if you have any Dutch followers. <laughs> <laughs> but I also make videos and they, those are in English. There we go. So let's cheers. 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 A good evening. Mm. I'm so excited for the food to come here and uh, I hope you can see me. <laughs> and you can kind of feel the atmosphere here with uh, this dim light and quiet uh, surrounding, yeah. Just had a little chit chat with uh, the chef and now we're going into the kitchen to see how he's making all this delicious food. It's gonna be so exciting. Wow. So we got the chef here. <laughs> Can you say hello? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, what was your name again? Sebastian. Sebastian, and where are you from? Uh, Germany. Germany. Uh, we are having now here the prawn dish. It's actually a sauteed prawn um, with pomelo and coconut. Mm, wow. We're using still some crispy rice. Yeah? Um, so it's always rice, we're still in China. So. It should be. It should, <laughs> it be. should be some rice. Maybe he can give me some tips for my cooking at home because <laughs> that's a very sad story. with a nest and I don't hope that we have to eat it because I would be a little nervous about that <laughs> but uh, we're just taking pictures and we are hearing all these very interesting stories about the chef, how the chef is coming up with new ideas and sorry for the noise but we are in the kitchen and it's so cool it's this is more art than it's actually food right it's like food art this is like insta worthy pictures talking to the chef and it was so interesting he's like super creative uh, a German guy and he has been all around the world and the food is literally from all around the world and it looks crazy but artsy and creative and interesting and you know you I'm not a foodie but I'm so curious about this so uh, yeah right now just waiting for uh, Yvonne to come back and for the food to arrive and then let's get started on the tasting Lily is so excited! Okay, so we just got, after the starters, we just got this one. Cucumber mousse. Yeah. And uh, we got some bread with it, so let's try. I'm very excited about that because I'm not really a cucumber lover, but uh, I've never tried this kind of cucumber before, so yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of a little sour. Um, and you can taste the cucumber, it's like, um, what's that, they're called the pickled cucumber? Mm -hmm. It kind of has that taste, but in a, a mousse way, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not sure that makes sense. It's good, and uh, then we have some bread and some tofu, right? Isn't that tofu? I don't know, we'll have to try it. So we got a lot of bread here. That's nice, I love bread. Really good. It's still warm. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, that's like nice. it just came out of the oven. Mm. Oh, some like, maybe some kind of cream butter. Oh, butter. Oh, not it... tofu then. <laughs> Next thing we got was this egg thing, truffle mousse inside. I'm really happy that Ivan is here to help me with the <laughs> with the names. 
Uh, let's try this egg thing. I was very curious when he was making it first. I was like, hmm, it's a nest. Is it an egg? Is it a bird coming out? Like, this is very creative food, so you never know. But I'm very excited now. I hadn't thought it would taste like that. I don't know why I thought it was sweet, but it's like salty. It's like very airy. Oh, it was the apple air. No? Uh, I had to dig deep. Sorry guys, I was only in the top. I have no idea, but it's nice. That's the thing, and I think that's why you should come to this kind of place, because it's food art and yeah, where are we? We are in Temple Restaurant Beijing Bites. Yeah, I practiced the name because I couldn't remember before. It was a little too long. Um, they have Temple Restaurant Beijing and Temple Restaurant Beijing Bites. And this one is literally just outside um, the Dongmar, the East Gate of the Forbidden City. Like, how cool is that, right? How cool is that? So we can sit here and look at the Forbidden City. Of course, you can only see the walls, but you can see the gate, and the gate is pretty nice. So we needed a little bit of light on the gate, though. Yeah, that could have been cool. Like a lot of the Chinese buildings are always lit up with uh, lights, but um, not this good. Anyways, I think during daytime is really cool because we're sitting beside the river, so you can see the water here. I have no idea what it is. I have no clue. But it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's really weird in my mouth. Like, I like the meat, but the soup is. Um, maybe you should try and, and let me know. Like, Yvonne, she's the foodie of the two of us. She knows more about. Like, she she smells the bread and then she knows. Like, wow. I have another uh, site. It's called tribbitten.com, and you probably will find a review on this restaurant there as well. <laughs> and that one is in English, so you will all be able to understand what me and my husband write there. What is it? I, I have no clue. It has a very tender and soft flavor. I think it's the garlic here. Mmm. Mmm. There's a whole like explosion of flavors going on in my mouth. I think that's I, um, why I get so uh, I, I, like, confused. I, it's like sourness and sweetness, and then the crunchy of the. I'm pretty. I'm not sure if no, it didn't taste like garlic, but it had the texture of it. So it's a bit louder. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, and some nuts. No, there's an explosion of flavors going on in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, sourness, sweetness. Um, the soup itself is really creamy, mm. but then the meat pieces, they will give that crunch. Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna cheer again because this is delicious and a great experience. Different from the other one. We got all these, um, we get to taste all these really interesting uh, wines as well, which I'm not used to. I don't usually drink wine and I actually I actually told my friend that I don't like it, but that's a lie because I actually do like this. <laughs> yeah, I thought I didn't, but maybe it's mostly like red wine or... Yeah, I feel like maybe that was the problem. I eat or I drink the cheap wine, so this is great. Mm. You guys are seeing me getting all drunk on camera. Yay! Fish. Mm. Danish people love fish. Yeah, we're a fish country. We always eat fish and this is good. It was a tomato sauce, right? There was some tomato in the sauce? There we go. Mm. Oh, it's good to have a fish again. Oh, okay, then the chef, he came in himself to serve this Christmas slash winter dessert where we got a little tree on top and the snow on the bottom. I think it's so beautiful and I'm really excited to taste it. It was white chocolate and pear yeah. cream. Yeah, mostly pear white, cream. white yeah. chocolate and pear. Okay, so we're ready for the dessert. This is so exciting. I'm really excited. 
I love, I really love sweet things. Yeah. Yeah. So this was like, this is gonna be the climax of my experience here. <laughs> we have the white chocolate and the pear, and of course it's a great combination. Like it tastes so good. Ah, but it's difficult because it's in a glass. So it's difficult to get it down. I'm gonna break the tree. I broke the tree. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a dream melting in your mouth, actually. Let's see about the tree here. <laughs> Ling Ling is very happy. Very happy. This was a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I just want to say that we finished this amazing meal. It was uh, good. It was also interesting. It was um, the taste. Some of it I liked it very much and some of it I thought was kind of random. But, you know, that's the thing with creative food. You can't really expect it to be like the usual normal hamburger you eat at McDonald's. So that totally makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that totally makes sense. Um, now we're just enjoying a cup of tea. Uh, after the dinner, I'm so full now. Um, and yeah, just want to say thank you guys for uh, watching this uh, video. Our first food review. Temple Restaurant Beijing Bites just at the east gate of the Forbidden City. Super convenient to go here. You can take the metro. Oh, the kitchen people are having a great time. I don't know. <laughs> the staff are probably free soon. <laughs> but yeah, we had a great time here. So convenient to take the subway to Tiananmen uh, East Station and you get off and you walk here two minutes. It's great. Um, it was a great experience. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And Ling Ling is out. See you again very, very soon. Bye-bye and 再见. <laughs>